Oh, 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 oh. We are back in Ark Survival Evolved, guys. Welcome back, one and all, to the original Ark. The, the, you know what? I'm going to say it. The better Ark. The great spectacular Ark that is evolved. And we're back. We're back with another Mega Modded Survival. Back to where it all began. And we're crashing, I think. I think we're crashing. I think we're... Oh, we're not crashing. We're back. Yay! Oh, man. Look, it ain't perfect, all right? Yeah, we're still going to have our hiccups along the way. But welcome back. I am so psyched for this series. I'm psyched to be back in Ark Survival Evolved. Not just because it's Ark Survival Evolved and not Ark Survival Ascended. I, like, I don't know what it is. I just got a better vibe for this from this game. I don't know. I just prefer this to Ascended, at least for now. Uh, but other than that, we are back with some of my favorite mods. Uh, some mods that I revisited just last week. Oh my goodness, how derpy I look. I'm an old man again. Ascended is just me, young, fresh, and jacked. And now I'm an old man and I'm sprouting out my gray hairs. Yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, I went and kind of... Um, I got a little bit nostalgic recently. Going over our most recent supercut of our Season 7, which was uh, Pugnacia, Paradise. It was absolutely chaotic, and we had a little sprinkle of Four World Myth. Well, I've got a very similar pack here for us this season. Uh, and I'm really going to... I feel like... I don't know. I just, I'm just in the, I just feel like getting back to where it all began. And I'm just really excited about this one here. So, uh, yeah, Pugnacia is back. As you can see, we've got some big old compies here. Um, we got some, but we've got a lot of everything. And these guys are probably more strong than... Well, stronger than compies are meant to be. Just because everything in this mod is stronger than it's meant to be. Before we go any further, though, guys. As my hair gradually grows longer and longer. If you do enjoy the video, then please go ahead. Punch that thumbs up. Make it rain. Those thumbs ups. Now, let's get started let's see what we can actually do today let's see how long we can make it without dying because that's the big question it always is the big question it's um it's it's always a guaranteed it's never a question on if we're gonna die it's a matter of when we're gonna die so let's uh let's get things going now i am playing on a map that i've only ever played on once um it's a very nice map it's a map that i haven't really explored a whole lot of or experienced a lot of uh, this is, uh, <coughs> Lost Island, <laughs> as my beard slowly gets a little bit longer again. Yeah, Lost Island. We played on here with the Primal Fear mod a long time ago, and I haven't played it since, so I'm really excited just to see, uh, how this goes. I forgot we start with tools. I don't need to go, you know, hacking things up with my hands, punching trees and all the rest of it. We can, we can do it old school. So let's, let's just do that. Let's get these, uh, let's get our, let's get some tools up and running, shall we? Um, let me grab some stones. Oh, some some flints and uh let's yeah let's let's get this adventure underway now uh, i do advise you or at least i'd recommend stick with this one i got a pretty good feeling about this series i think it's gonna be a fun one and i'm i'm really excited for it um i don't know i just it just feels like a nice return to old simple times when i say simple time it definitely is not simple times i mean we, we got some pretty crazy <laughs> it's it's gonna be chaotic it's gonna be as chaotic as ever uh but for right now we're just we're just we're good we're good we're comfy right little guys i don't know what i'm gonna do about these compies but they are gonna be giving me a hard time hey big fella hey you doing over there um that's a big old bright beautiful mega mega shell on i don't know how to tame those but that could be handy at some point uh for now though Let's have a look. Where are we going to put these levels? Hey, let's stick some... I mean, let's just go a bit of melee damage, a bit of health, a bit of stamina so we can outrun some things. And then maybe some more health, because why not? Um, I've also got a lot of different mods installed. Um, man, there are so many just random engrams that you start off with <laughs> with these mods. Um, including, hello. Yes, let's get ourselves a poison spear. We might be able to actually do some taming today. Um, Pugnacia and Parados don't generally work amazingly together. And the reason I've gone and put them together is because last time I played these mods together, it was just the most chaotic. It was fun. It was really cool. And I just wanted to try and relive that experience after kind of reliving bits and pieces of it in that super cut that I uploaded uh, earlier oh, over the weekend, last week, whenever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'm just really, <laughs> just really keen to relive it. I've been wanting to do it ever since. It was a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, just excited to give it another crack. Now, I wouldn't mind making it over to that, 
supply drop just over here just to see if we can get a head start and a few things uh but i'm also trying to just keep my eyes peeled for anything that may you know cause us harm in the distance uh but so far so good anyways now what do we got what can we unlock here i, I definitely gonna need some spears however we can also get these trank bowlers i forgot this even exists um hey look may as well get some trank bowlers as well then i suppose and as for oh, and armor as well we can get some parados clothing um just needs fiber so like why not i suppose <gasps> there's the spear we need 50 narco berries for that and hey okay gallimimus where did you come from where did that come from? okay that was interesting uh all right let's don our nice bright yellow and blue <laughs> clothing i suppose and already I'm getting excited at the pros. Like, you see the size difference between some of these dinosaurs? You got these little fellas and then you got these big fellas over here. And it's just, I don't know. I just like the variety. And Equus, this is, oh, and a T-Rex, lovely. All right, yeah. Uh, big, speedy, are you? I was going to say, you can, <laughs> wow, that's a lot faster than I expected. I swear it was coming towards us. Um, anyways, 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 let's get this supply drop. Let's see what we can find inside of this fella over here um without you know getting into too much danger of course we got resources all right cool well it saves me collecting them by hand i suppose so that's kind of nice um but man that is a ginormous gilimimus are you just a red can i feed you yeah you're just a 2x okay so it's like a, it, it is like a maxed out that's as big as they grow that is huge uh, anyways, did I collect any fiber just then? Because I just so happened to need some of that fiber to get myself uh, the rest of my armor. So let's get that stuff going. Now, this stuff ain't ridiculously protective, but it's going to be enough for the time being. Um, man, we can get it. Man, some of the Paradise items you actually collect really early. Uh, and just a heads up, the Paradise mod has not been updated for a very long time. So I got no idea how it's going to hold up. Uh, I guess it's just going to be another one of those random <laughs> random aspects that we're just not going to be able to control. And we're just going to see how it unfolds as we go. Now, let's kill a dodo. Let's get our first little kill. There we go. And uh, we got some meat. We got some hide. Uh, and over here, we've got a, a dead body uh, from a previous Miola. One that is not me. Miola. That's not me. That's a different Miola. As you can see, we, we look very different. I'm... I've got much more of a tan than this little albino Miola down here. In fact, can I demolish his... We'll demolish the grave. <laughs> we'll, pre we'll pretend he never existed. Remove him from existence. Remove him from history. Be gone, old Miola. Yeah, all right. We'll just... We'll just... Can I take some resources off you by any chance? Can I... No, you got no meat for me? Can I eat? Can we go cannibal mode and eat the previous Miola? Let me can he's got a left wait wait for him to decompose oh snap hold on no 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 get it out go yes now what <laughs> uh i don't know i don't know i don't know are you just a raptor are you just a raptor because i don't i don't have a it is just a raptor oh snap okay uh we are in trouble because he's gonna pop out of there and i got no way of dealing with him just yet but that would be an awesome thing to tame up like soon if i can get 50 Knocker berries, which I'm not going to be able to get very quickly. But if I can, I might be able to knock it out. Is the Trank dealing torpor? I thought it was meant to. Oh, snap. I'm so dead. No, no, no. Please don't. Please don't. Can I Trank you again? Yes. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Stop picking up trees. I really need... How, how many Trank? How many? How many? 20. Oh, my goodness. I need 30 more of these things. Um. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to get the narco berries that I need. But I need to tame this raptor. That, that would be an amazing, like, starting tame. So hopefully we can get it without dying. <laughs> is, what I'm, is what I'm trying to get to here. Uh, yep. Yeah, just, just, just bush bush harvesting simulator right here. I know. But it could all pay off oh so greatly if we manage to pull this off. So let's just keep chipping away at those little things. I, 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 we got at least like 35. I should hot bar them so I can see it. But at the same time, I'm going to make sure this thing doesn't die to something. Because I don't know, like maybe these little compies that have been following me around that he is now attacking are like little super compies. I actually feel better. I would feel better just having him, yeah, charge me and knocking him out. Or like, you know, bollering him for a second. 
How far are we? 50. We got exactly 50. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Um, there is the Parados Spear. I don't have a spyglass, obviously, so I can't, you know, see what this guy's all about. But watch me go and break this spear on his head. Actually, that's right. Headshots don't matter. We're not, we're not in Ark Survival Ascended anymore. Okay. Man, I really... It, it's so hard to play this game without a spyglass. Because I can't see how close he is to... Yes! 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 Not having access to his torpor bar or his health or anything like that. Just... It's scary. It's scary. But not anymore. Because little raptor is going to sleep. Alright. Now, I don't really know what to feed you either. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. But I've got... All right, look, I've got 15 meat, so let's just hand it over. I don't know. Well, I don't know. We're just going to have to wing it and see what happens, I suppose. But hey, we've got a tame on the way, so that is uh, great. Uh, can I? Yes. Okay, cool. We can do that. So we can keep an eye on him. It's level 240, which is pretty sweet. Could be level 360 by the time he's done. In fact, he's about to eat his first piece of meat. And then once he does that, we'll be able to see exactly. There he goes. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to need quite a bit <laughs> we're gonna need i'm trying to do quick math in my head i need 33 34 maybe to be safe 30 times 3 is 90 33 times 3 is you know 100 ish uh okay so we're gonna need yeah about that so we've got half the meat there's a dodo over here which i could just spike on the head with my spear um alternatively what we could do there is a t-rex over here who is traumatizing some, some Brontos. And look, oh, well, there we go. We've got all the meat we need technically, but we might be able to get lucky over here. If old Rex, you know, ain't, like, like, why aren't these Brontos all turning on him? If we can get like a 6v1 here, they will kill that Rex. And then we will be able to harvest that Rex and take what we need from it. You know, the prime meat, speed things up a little bit. But, um, well, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. One of them swiping away. I better keep my distance just in case. Because, uh, yeah, I'll probably get, you know, caught in the crossfires. Dude, he's getting... Dude, yeah, yes, yes. This is what we want to see. This is this is perfect. I think the blue one's actually getting a little wrecked up there as well. But this is this is amazing. There's also... I can see something through the bushes over there. What's that? Oh, I think it's a raptor fighting a triceratops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I got a little bit too close. Got a little bit too excited. All right. Uh, that's not good. Let's see. Hopefully we hopefully we spawn nearby. Because if we don't, I only know my way back. But there we go. Death one inflicted by none other than myself. And I'm back. Look at me. Oh, my goodness. It's good to have my face. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is where we spawned originally. Okay. We just got a little bit of running to do. Not the end of the world. We're over here with all this majestic being right here. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just head back towards our raptor. And that is what I am talking about. Oh, Rex Among Us is dead. We both died. Um, and these Bronte seem to have calmed down for the most part. Now, I need my stuff back. If I can, if I can raid my gravestone, that would be lovely. Uh, downside is I got no armor left. But yeah, these guys are chilled out by the looks of it. So that's great news. I just got to get to this body before anyone else beats me to it. And then, fingers crossed, might even have some loot on it. We'll see. Look at this big fella right here. Got absolutely annihilated. Uh, it was a level 360, 1.8x, big fella. Wait, I'm using the wrong tool. All right, I can't see what I'm doing here. One, two. Oh, come on, give me some more prime meat than that. Six, look, six would do. I'll take six. Six ain't bad. And the thing didn't have a spot of loot on it. So that's unfortunate. Uh, let's try and get out of here without getting trampled. And at least now we can, uh, oh, we can get this raptor taming just that tiny little bit faster. The sooner we get this guy up and running, the sooner we can, well, hope. I mean, he's pretty quick. So I'm hoping we can kind of like get around the map a little fast once we can actually get this guy. Um, obviously we're going to need a saddle too. Now that I think about it, let's maybe turn our attention to working out what, well, what I need to get that saddle. There's a wow, that's a lot of different saddles. Okay, 18. We gotta be level 18. Well, we're close. We're not quite there, but we're close. Um, let's get some weight. Alright, we've got like four more levels to gain. I mean, killing a parasaur might actually be the right option here. 
This Galimimus man is just leaping all over the shop. He's so big. All right. Sorry, buddy. It's just got to be done. It must be done. Ah, pokey. Is that quicker? That is not quicker at all. All right. We'll just keep on turning you into a giant... I was going to say unicorn. Definitely not a unicorn. Like a macrocorn. Just just infant, infinite corn. Just, just lots of corns on his head, basically. And I'm not dealing enough damage to do that. So... Yeah, this isn't the guy. This, this, this. Yeah, no, I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> that is a big old corn on its head. It's not a corn, it's a horn. Big old horn on its head. Um, you don't need to be here though, mate. Also, I should have come straight here and put the fresh meat on my guy, of course. But you know, I guess I'm not, not that intelligent. What can I say? We gotta repair this armor, which we can do. Probably a waste of fiber, but Hey, gets us some sort of protection, I suppose. And we can also skin my friend here too. Yay. Okay. Um, let's get our gear back on. We've got a lot of meat. Man, I didn't realize how much meat we pulled from that too. Uh, great. This is looking good. This is looking really, really good. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Now, we just need those extra levels. Um, I should probably get like a bed or something set up. So let's craft a bed before we loot, like run out of resources. Um, some reusable bowlers, but in saying that, my Paradox Bowler seems to be doing a mighty fine job already. And then, there's not much else I really need right this second, so... I guess we'll just wait a minute. A bow! I guess we got a bow. Bow could be handy. Especially since I gotta kill some things to get a little bit of extra leveling. Uh, this next level is gonna go into melee damage to help me kill some things a little bit quicker. And, is that gonna give me... Didn't give me much experience, unfortunately. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Not the end of the world. All right. Um, I'm going to stop crafting there. Get the rest of this gear on. And yeah, my guy, he's already halfway. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, who's going to die? Who's going to die to get me my raptor saddle now? We got these equuses nearby. There's also... No, it's just a tree. I saw something weird in the distance over there. It's just a tree. I don't know if I mentioned, by the way, we've got a bunch of other mods also in this world currently. And I don't know what they're going to introduce to our world. I don't know, you know, what randomness or encounters we're going to run into. But there are some surprises, to say the least. I don't know how they're going to go or what they're going to be. But there's surprises out there. That is for certain. Uh, surprises I'm a little bit worried about. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. So you're... Oh, man. I just made that little baby parasaur go from earlier. That's what we need to run into right now. These big fellas are just a lost cause. You might be able to help me. You're level 400, though. I can't kill a level 400, man. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 little fella. Little fella, come here. These little ones have got less health. There we go. But you're level 580. No. <laughs> I can't kill a level 580. Also, I don't feel safe. Being around all these these brontos, man. All right, how am I gonna? We're just gonna have to craft up some some wood foundations, I think. Unless some you know dodos or something want to show their faces, but we're just not having much luck right now with the spawns around us. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is just sit here and chill alongside my friend and. Um, you know, we'll take him out and let him do the killing for us once it's ready. All right, here we go. Here we go. Our very first team. Oh, man. I was one piece short. Oh, it's because he ran out of prime meat. Ah, uh, the prime meat were giving him 12 taming effectiveness and he ran out. So my, I miscalculated that one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Back to it. Okay, for realsy this time. Here he comes, our very first team, and it's gonna be a level 334 Raptor. 354, okay, I can't math clearly, but welcome my little guy, welcome. Come over here, buddy, come over here. Oh my goodness. Look at you, you absolute beautiful thing. Now, unfortunately, I can't take you for a spin just yet. Let's go and get this thing off here so I can actually look at you, look at him. Oh, I love it. Oh, what a team, what a first team. Big old thing too. Now, I need your help. Um, I gotta get you a saddle so I can ride you around. And to do that, like I was saying a little earlier to my, my friends watching at home, we need three levels to make that happen. So, 
This guy is not going to be of any help, unfortunately. But this one might be. Hold on a second. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, little parasaur. Come here, my friend. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. <gasps> yes. Perfect. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, don't help me, Raptor. I feel like I've got this in the bag. This is only a tiny little low level. Small size. It should have not a lot of health. It should have not a lot of health. Right, I'm going to need your help. This thing's about to get up and run away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should have just done it myself. And hey, trait arrows. And some Narco berries. Nice. That's pretty sweet. I also got some levels out of that, I just realized. Only one. Dang it. All right. Well, we're one level closer, but we're not quite there just yet. Um, and my friend here gained five levels. So that's pretty sweet. I'm going to put those into health and damage. Just because I want to keep this guy in tip-top shape. Also, we're going to give you a name. What's it going to be? What do I call you? I kind of want to go... Like, it's just such a beautifully vibrant little being. It's just the vibe. It's just the vibe. Looks good. I'm going to call you... I'm going to call him... <laughs> I don't know why this feels right. The color looks good. Little drip the raptor. I don't know. Come with me there, little guy. Come with me, my little my little drippy dude. Um, I'm a little thirsty. Hey, 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 hey. Follow me, mate. Follow me. Follow me. Let's go. Let's see where else we can torment some dudes. Maybe this guy, big fella over here. Again, I don't know what level this is, but thanks to this amazing bowler we got in our hands, I can just do this. And it's not really any risk. And we'll just let you do your thing. Maybe I can help you out. Oh, yeah, it's a big fella. High level two. And hopefully... I just want to... Man, this thing's got so much health. I'm only contributing here because I want to get some experience out of it. And just in case that's how it works. Okay. Can I finish the job? Can I finish the job? Okay. Maybe not. He's going to totally get up and run away, isn't he? All right, finish him off. Finish him off. Yeah, there we go. Man, I should have just done it myself. Did he drop any loot? I don't think so. Dang it. Well, I didn't gain any experience either, but Tyranodons are a good... They're a good shot. They're a good shot. No, he got too far away. Get bowled. Get bowled. Come on. Oh, how did that miss? All right, fine. There are a few others around that we could try. Who's this? Big old Lystrosaurus. Okay, if I can't kill a Lystrosaurus, what can I? Right? These guys aren't meant to be very hard to kill. But in saying that, everything in this mod has such high levels of health. I really can't kill anything by hand. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, do I set my raptor onto it or do I just keep... Oh, I think we're doing it. I think we're doing a good job. I can't see this giving me much experience. But if this fails... Oh, your raptor, come over here, buddy. Just give me like one little bite of help. Just one. Okay, stop, stop. Okay. You know what? It doesn't even matter. Look how much health he had. He was stacked. Yeah, look. I don't think we've got a choice. Let's just craft some foundations. We're going to need a home eventually anyways. So, let's... I get, Like, these three are going to give me all the experience I need. I should have just done this in the first place. But, you know, I'm not a smart cookie. What can I say? It's going to give us one. There we go. And then we're actually going to need a few more. And we are really only missing a little bit of wood to make that happen. So let's go and gather a little bit of wood. We're going to need like, I don't know, maximum another three foundations. And it works out well because I need somewhere to live tonight. We need some... Oh, well, it doesn't even matter. We just gained the level just from hacking up a tree. Also, look at this guy. That is a beautiful looking dialo. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You know what? Show me, Raptor. Show me what you can do, friend. Show me what you can do. Get wrecked, little Dilo. Get wrecked. All right. We've got our levels. One level into melee. We've unlocked all of the Raptor saddles. Not just one, but all of them. Um, and that means, hopefully, we've got everything that we need. They go and over. Go over to Drip. Drop a saddle on his back. And we could also costume him if we wanted to. But I think we're just going to saddle for the time being. Also, you, you're you collecting the loot. Oh, good for you, mate. And now we can finally have a little bit of fun of our own. We can kill things ourselves. 
of all things to kill there, I went for an OV Rapture. I'm kind of guilty about that one. <laughs> but it is what it is, I suppose. I'm lucky this guy didn't creep up on me. Get out of here, you. Oh, this is good. Now, only jank thing is, well, I'm kind of living inside of the Raptor at the moment. <laughs> and that's just due to the weird size mod. It just does things like that. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? Um, but yeah, we are finally unleashed on this world. And we can start doing a little bit of damage. Now, where are we? I haven't checked the map one bit. I don't really know where we're going, what we're doing, or what's around. But I do like this area. It's very nice. It's very pretty. It's very beautiful. Um, got some cooked meat that I can eat. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's get some more speed and a little bit of melee damage. I like to move fast. What can I say? And then do I costume you, my little guy? Honestly, I don't think so. I don't think so. And the only reason I say that is... He just looks pretty cool on his own. And he kind of loses that little bit of character when we, you know, skin him to look just like everything else. So we're going to leave him as he is. And we can finally go on a uh, bit of an exploration, I suppose. Or at least we can, we, can, we can travel without, you know, being at risk of dying as badly. I mean, there still is a lot of risk of dying, but a little bit less now. Okay, so... I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards sticking quite central, which would mean we got to backtrack a little bit, kind of like along that coast, all the way around that way. Or what direction is that that I'm facing? So that's across the water. But these islands are kind of cool. They do. Oh, full damage. I forgot. Um, these little islands across the water look pretty cool. But if I'm to get over there. Oh, man, this area is just it's beautiful. This is, the, this is the aesthetic I like in Ark. Can I swim quick? We're not terrible swimmers. I could cut it. I could cut straight across the ocean. We could go for a swim. I was going to say we might need a raft to get across, but I take that back. I could totally make it over to that little island over there. The only downside is once we're over there, we're over there. It's going to be very hard to get back. And that might not be a good idea. Um, especially... Because, you know, if we go over there, everything's going to be over there. And then there, there really is no no coming back from there. But let's just run over here for the time being. We'll see what we can find. We'll see what we stumble into. And I mean, this is, this is such a beautiful map. It's a map that I really have no idea about. So it's going to be a fun one to explore. It's going to be a fun one to live. In? Is this a Mosasaur? That is a Mosa, isn't it? Hold on a second. I don't, that is a Mosa, hey. What is a Mosa doing in this shallow? And that is why we're not going across the water today. That is why instead we are going to live here. We're going to set up a little, a little base of operations right here. I don't know what's going on with our visuals, by the way. Things just are looking a little bit janky, aren't they? But it is what it is. Oh my goodness, there's a dialogue coming for us. Get wrecked. Get out of here. Hey, hey, this is going to be my home. Be gone, little guy. Be gone. Man, this thing has a lot of health. A lot of health for a regular dialogue. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, we're just going to set up a little base. As I was, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. Um, we got our bed that we can place down too. If I can grab said bed and then at least we uh i don't know we got a little bit of safety for the night can i grab some walls like i'm sure we can but i don't know how many five i mean that's enough to give us some sort of protection i can actually see another raptor over there and it doesn't look like an ordinary raptor either i reckon there's gonna be something kind of special about it uh, but I can do this with my five walls. This is not very protected. Especially when we've got this giant threat right here in front of us in the Mosasaur. That's that's not ideal. But, um, you know, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? <laughs> well, look, guys, uh, I think this is a good time to end today. Thank you so much for watching part one, episode one of our new Paradise Pugnacia Revisited series. If you enjoy it, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up and let me know. No, I was going to say let me know down below in the comments names for our raptor, but I forgot. 
Drip the Raptor already has a name. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one very soon. But until then, keep smiling. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.